Um, I made my cursor huge so that people can probably see it. Yeah, so um, my name is Alex, uh, and this is just a brief summary of the work I've been doing with uh, Lawrence Livermore National Lab on implementing a new collision operator into a code for tokamak plasma simulations. So uh, tokamak shown on the screen here is a vacuum chamber surrounded by magnetic coils designed to confine and thermally insulate plasma in temperatures high enough to sustain fusion reaction. And that's one of the leading concepts for a fusion energy reactor. Conceptually, it's very analogous to like a regular furnace where instead of uh, you know fuel, we use tritium and deuterium and we burn it. And much like a regular furnace, you, in order to have sustained burn, you need sufficient uh, thermal insulation provided by magnetic field here. And also you need to worry about your fuel being sufficiently free from impurities, so like none uh, fuel components in the plasma. Particularly bad impurities come from the walls of the chamber. Uh, they're also typically made of tungsten and one particle in a million already enough to kill the fusion reaction. Therefore, codes that aim to model and simulate uh, tokamaks need to uh, retain physics that uh, di describes impurity transport uh, yeah, in, in the simulation. One of the leading codes in uh, uh, plasma modeling is uh, developed in LNL, it's called Cogent. It's a kinetic code, so it calculates the probability for each uh, plasma species particle to have certain velocity, a certain position of the device. It's a very detailed description, and uh, consequently, it's very expensive to simulate numerically. Therefore, a lot of work goes into making it more tractable, and uh, uh, now with new like computers, it becomes more and more like an actual simulation tool for Tokamaks. Um, so my particular work is focused on this right-hand side, which is uh, describing interaction of particles due to their co Coulomb, Coulomb forces, because plasma is charged, so Coulomb force interaction. Uh, and uh, this is not as much important in the core of the device, where plasma is very hot, but uh, cogent code can also simulate the near wall region of the device, called the edge of the plasma, where plasma is relatively colder and uh, highly collisional. Therefore, uh, it's important to include this, this into the kinetic simulations. However, including this into a kinetic simulation is tricky because despite the uh, like theoretical this form for the correct uh, like operator being well known for some time called Landau operator, but this is tricky to use in practice because it uh, in order to actually evaluate this, you need to know so-called Rosenblut potentials. And to obtain those, you need essentially to solve a pair of two-dimensional Poisson equations for each time step of your simulation, which ends up just not being practical for many applications uh, we want to address. And uh, therefore, the idea then is to avoid solving these Poisson equations uh, numerically and instead try to solve them analytically by making some assumptions about what our distribution function looks like. And uh, yeah, that's what, for example, for Maxwellian distribution function, we can just derive this resolution analytically, plug them into the operator, and then it makes the operator actually cheap to evaluate. That's essentially the main idea behind the uh, operators that uh, we've implemented, where uh, di distribution function is assumed to be nearly Maxwellian. Then we recast the operator into a sum of several terms, which all essentially boil down to uh, interaction with a known background distribution function. Uh, some of the, you know, we also need to include terms to balance energy and momentum terms, which can be uh, you know, it can look complicated, but essentially they are all analytically tractable. So you kind of do the work for for the computer. And one of the benefits of this approach is that that now allows uh, this particular approach allows to retain uh, important uh, transport properties of the plasma. For example, here you see uh, measurements from the cogent simulations of uh, electric resistivity and heat flux coefficients for the plasma again in a in a problem setting where we have analytical uh, estimates for these quantities. And we see good agreement with this uh, collision operator. Notably also, this operator also recovers something called the thermal force. That's like a peculiar uh, peculiar Coulomb collision effect, uh, similar to C back of uh, like effect in thermal coupling, which is a force proportional to the gradient of the temperature uh, profile. But it's not a part of the pressure. It has to do with the velocity dependence of Coulomb interaction. And uh, it's important to know that not all uh, collision operator like treatments actually retain this term. Specifically, recently developed uh, teams from Germany and team from P teams from PPL have recently proposed their collision operator implementations, which do not recover this uh, thermal force, and that has major consequences in terms of impurity transport in a, in a device. So that's you know 
further details are in the paper that pretty much concludes the simulation. I just wanted to say that the uh, previous the previous uh, uh, slides that I show, like what it ultimately boils down to is Cogent now has this capability to uh, numerically efficient they simulate radial particle transport of heavy impurities in the plasma in a way that uh, recovers previous theoretical results for for previous, previous theoretical predictions. And uh, these are like much further details are in a recently published paper, and that concludes my talk. <laughs>